Philadelphia every Sunday at 11 a.m. For more information, go to our website at www.nlmionline.org. of other people and wondering why they're not succeeding. Mm. Wondering why that they're not having the success that God has said. If you would get, um, uh, go to Psalms for me. Amen. Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice. What? Following their advice. Following their 
advice. Uh huh. Go ahead. Their plans. Their plans. And their purposes. And their purposes. Nor stand submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk. Uh -huh. Are you listening to what <laughs> this is saying? Because many people have built their lives upon the philosophies and the advice, amen, of other people when there was absolutely no truth to it whatsoever. Amen. It was never based on from where we live. It was never based on from where we come from. Oh, are you listening? Hallelujah. It was never based, amen, the truth of realizing that I need to know what my country has to say about my life, my living. Mm. Hallelujah. Don't get quiet on me now. Go ahead. Nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful land, where the scornful and the mockers gather. Ah, go ahead. But his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. But his delight and desires are in the law of the Lord and on his law. Uh-huh. The precepts. Uh -huh. The instructions, uh -huh. the teachings of God. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That he habitually meditates, ponders, and studies by day and by night. Now, because he, amen, the Bible says, because he does what? Say it again. I know I'm coming down, but go ahead. Uh huh. Go ahead. But his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. His delights and desires. Are where? Are in the law of the Lord. Say it again. Are in the law of the Lord. His delights and his desires are in the law of the Lord. He's not going around, amen, looking for this and somebody to tell him the, some type of philosophy mm -mm -mm, that can't stand against Amen. The storms of life that doesn't hold the power that the word of God holds. The word of God talks about the man, one man building what? On sinking sand. No wonder the songwriter said, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the grounds are sinking sand. So he understood. Amen. What he was building his life upon. You got to ask yourself a serious question. What is it that I'm building my life? What is it that I really believe? Because what happened is that many times people have gotten so out of touch and they don't know it. Ooh. They don't know it. They don't know it because they many times have been blinded by the philosophies of men. And they don't know it. Many times they have been blinded by a religion or religious spirit and they don't know it. Because it looks so much, so close, like the real thing, but it holds no power. Hallelujah. Go ahead. And on his law, the precepts, the instructions, and the teachings of God, he habitually meditates. Mm -mm. And uh huh. He meditates. He meditates. He gets it inside. He visualizes. Amen. He visualizes on the word of Almighty God. Uh huh. 
and ponders and studies mm -hmm. by day and by night. I, I, if I was to ask the question of, of, of many times getting down to the core beliefs and, and, and you're finding, amen, that a lot of times in your life that there, there has been a lie and that you have built upon that lie. That's why I ask many people, who is it that told you? Who told you how to be a husband? Who, who told you how to be a wife? Mm. Mm. Who, who was it that, that told you? Where did you get it from? Who told you how to be a parent? Where did you get it from? Is it solid enough that when the storms of life come to stand? Because there is an enemy and the one thing that he really respects he does not care about your theory. He does not care about your good ideas. He doesn't care about your philosophies. That does not move him. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. Are you hearing me? But the one thing that he does respect and he knows that he's got to move when you say it. Amen. 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 And that is the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 So what do I speak when the storms and the pressures of life come, do I speak my good ideas? Do I, do I speak my, my philosophies and I'm being stubborn about, hey, this is what I think? Or am I speaking the word of Almighty God? Mm. Jesus said, Satan, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. somebody sitting next to you what is your philosophy doing if we're not careful and many of the talk shows come up with these good philosophies and we go oh man that's good because it sounds good to the ears you know so and so said Mm -hmm. This one said, but what do we know about what the Word of God says? Oh, it's all right to date and to live like we're married. Mm. After all, we're living in a different day and a different time. Everybody is doing this. Ooh. Wow. But when the storms of life come, mm -hmm, and it doesn't exactly turn out, the way your idea was in your head. Oh. 
when I say that, I, who, when you tell me I didn't know that I was building my life on a lie. When I, when I didn't know that I was opening a door. Mm. Mm -hmm. Go from that door. I, I didn't know. Uh-huh. Go out there. I didn't know. I, I, it, it, it doesn't even need to be. No, no, no. Go out there. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be wild. Because see what the Bible says, give no place. <laughs> Not even an inch. See, just turn your head to that door, if you can see it. Notice, just a little bit for the enemy to just kind of squeeze on in. Because he can attack. On a lie. <laughs> he can attack on your theories and your philosophies and your good ideas. And you know, I thought I thought this was a good idea because you know that way we get to know each other. You know, I, I, that way we find whether we're compatible. Oh, it's funny how God's taken me. I, I wasn't even going this way, but you know this is good. Hallelujah. I, I thought it was a good idea because my, my best friend, you know, told me that's what she did. And, and so I thought, that's a good idea. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, 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 maybe you know, you know, yeah, because you need to find out whether you're compatible. <laughs> and so I thought about that idea, you know, and I said, well, you know what? I, I think you're right. I, I think that might work. Yeah, that's right, because you know what? You will wake up in the morning and find out, you know, hey. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can build your life on a lie. Oh, because he can easy come in. Oh, I, you know, I know everybody don't like the message, but this, it's okay. I'm not called to preach to everything that you might like, so that's okay. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. But, you know, those who want to hear the truth, it's okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's so important. This is not beating anybody up. This is, no, this is making you wake up and go, mm. Because the last thing that the devil wants you to do is think. That's the last thing that he wants you to do. Amen. Because, see, amen. If I'm building my life on a lie, then I need to look at why it is that I'm having so many storms. Am I paying the consequences of lies? Oh, Lord Jesus. Am I bringing constant emergencies in my life? Is my life one crisis after another? And I'm wondering why and what it is. Ooh, I gotta stop and I gotta ask myself some questions. Where did I get my belief from? That's right. That's right. Where did it come from? Is my life being guided by that? which I believe, and where, if it's a lie, where will it take me? Mm -hmm. 
Whew. Where will it take me? I gotta stop. And I've gotta take a look. Where am I coming from? Where did I get this belief that now it has become a mentality? It has now become a part of who I am. Hey, where did I get the, this, 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 this belief from? You know, have at least five or six girls. <laughs> where, where? Hey, 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 that's the way to do things. That's, that's the way to live. That's the way, that's the way you do, you know? If you're a man, man, you got more than one girl. Where did I get it from? That I'm literally passing it down. to bring destruction to the next generation. Yes. Where did I get it from? That this is what a real man looks like. So you wallow. Then settle down later. Where did I get it from? Amen, amen. A lot of wild oaks is in the grave. A lot of wild oaks is in the jail. Because somebody stabbed them, killed them shot them, set them up. Where did I get it from that I'm finding my identity out of that behavior? And that it is a belief. Who? Who? Where did I get it from? Where? Who told me? Who told me this? Who told me that that's the way you live? Wow. See, by the time you really start unwrapping, you start finding out a whole lot of stuff. You can still be living out of because it's become a core belief. And so your light begins to be thrown off. But everything. Who? Who told me how to take care of myself, but yet... <laughs> didn't give me all the information. And it's become a core belief that I can do this and do that and, you know, eat what I want, how I want, anytime I want. But never told me what it might do to me inside. But it's such a core belief. <laughs> I don't see what it's doing. Oh, who, who, who is it? That told me that. Where did I get it from? How? Who told me how to discipline my kids? You know that I shot at them. Shut up. Don't open your mouth. Kids ought to be seen and not 
not her. Who told me? Who taught me? Where did I get it from? Sit your nappy head down. Get your little black self and stand. Where? 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 Where did I get it from? Go get your little dumb self. You're stupid. Where did I get it from? Find it for me in the scripture, if we are believers. If I'm living by the word of God, if I say, I'm, I'm just talking to the believers. Who told me it's all right to cuss you out? Mm. Where did I get that from? Yeah, this is me. This is me. This is what I do. It's who I am. Really? Who told you that? Because how, how is it that the scripture can, can say, now, who, who, who's right or who, who's wrong here? Because how is it that the scripture can say blessings and cursings can't come out of the same mouth? Oh, mm. okay, all right, then, then. I'll step back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all right to, to curse myself and curse somebody else, but I'm looking for blessings. Who told me that? When I'm constantly damning myself. <laughs> but how is it that I'm looking for the, who, who is it? Who, who, you know, who, who told me this? Where did you get it from? Who, who told me that, you know, adultery is okay when you're going through, when you're going through trouble, you're going through problems in your marriage, it's, it's okay. You know, after all, you got to show her. You got to let him see. There's more fish in the sea. You ain't the only one. If you don't want me, somebody else will. Where, 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 where did I, where, where did I get this from? That am I, am I building my life on a lie? Am I constantly bringing storms in my life? Because after all, so I say, hey, if you want to keep a, if you want to keep a boyfriend, you know what? Yeah, you got to do what they want. If, 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 if he really, if, hey, if you really love him now, come on. Where did you get it from? Who advised you? Whose idea did you take and live on it and build on it? Ooh. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. What, what talk show or what friend said it's all right? 
Try it out for six months. If it don't work, way by. <laughs> Amen. Just turn around and look at somebody and say, I, I, I could stay here for a little while, but you know. Just turn around and ask somebody, where, where, where did it come from? Here, just, you know, here, just have, just, just, just have a, what do y'all call it, drag, or what do you call it? You know, when you got weed, and, you know, you can, you know, I don't know what you call it, what you call it? Hit? Just take a hit, whatever. You'll never be the same. What it does, what it does, uh, makes you feel better. Gives you a sense of peace. Uh huh. Jesus. Whose idea did you take that you passed on now from weed to crack? From well, who, 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 who told you? <laughs> because see, you're made different. You're not made like that person. Some people have addictive behavior, and all they need to do is take a hit that one time. Who told you? Who made you not think about your brain? Who didn't care? I had to do this tap somebody and say, and what road did this take you that your brain has been altered? I don't care which way they paint it, but, but I, I, it was a good idea. It, it was a good idea that it's so, so I seen what it did and so it just took me down another path and another path because now and every time my mentality is every time I feel down I just I, I just wonder why, 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 you know why, why, why am I why, why do I have this and and, and what is this why, why am I sitting here now and I'm supposed what meditate day and night to get this down inside me that I can live by it. But his delight is in and desires are in the law. What is it saying? Somebody said, he reads this. And this word will lead and guide and direct him. Says, and he shall be. Well, let's start. But his delight and desires are in the law of the Lord and on his law and the precepts and the instructions and the teachings of God. He habitually meditates and ponders by day and by night. What happens to this man when he takes the word of God and begins to see the lies that he's built his life upon? Amen. And, and, and now that he sees that why the storms are coming. See, there are some storms that the devil sent. There are some storms that you made. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Are you, are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. So I know, amen, that when... Uh, uh, the storms come and sent by the devil. I got a word, hallelujah, from God that tells me what to say to my storm. But when I'm constantly making the storms myself, what am I going to say when I'm the one that's creating the storm? Whew. Then I'm the one that's got to do some changing. Yeah. 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 
look at somebody just for a moment and say, what storm did you create? When God said, don't go to that house, <laughs> then after a while you hear there's a storm coming. Don't go to that party. There's a storm coming. Leave that man alone. There's a storm coming. Leave that woman alone. There's a storm coming. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Take time for your relationship. <laughs> Woo! That you don't have time for them. There's a storm coming. Mm. Jesus, it's the truth. Mm. It's the truth. There's a storm coming. Put that weed down. There's a storm coming. God never tells you Something for nothing. That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 Never. Never. There's a storm coming. Amen. The first clouds you see let you know. There's a storm coming. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say, I, 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 I don't see no cloud. Mm -hmm. huh. Did you hear the argument that was beginning to creep up? Did you hear, I'm tired of you messing with my life. I'm tired of you cheating. There's a storm coming. That's a cloud. That's good. That's 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 a cloud. Glory. Are you him? See, we just didn't pay any attention that we seen a cloud. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Somebody told you. Hey man, you have to pay your bills this month. Party. There's a storm coming. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, we, we, we have to we have to recognize. Hey Amen. What is I'm building my hey, hey, apostle, hey, you know, I'm we good. Well, what you don't know is that it may be good now, but God's seen 10 years down. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> you know, 20 years may seem like a long time, but I'm here to tell you, you wake up one morning, 20 years have passed. I know that. I've been pastoring 34. See, wait a minute, what? You think it doesn't matter now? <laughs> Just like you can feel things now, 10 years later, you can feel it worse. Yes, yes. that's right. It's the truth. Yes. Amen. Who? Amen. See, you, you got to remember, don't let people despise your youth. See, somebody despising your youth, they'll talk you into all kind of stuff. See, you said, wait a minute, you kind of despising my youth here. You telling me all this stuff. Yeah, because you, you young. Young people, you hear me? You young. So you're old, boy. Hey, that guy like you, he don't worry about it. <laughs> he like you. But you already see stuff. Right. How can light and day ooh, be joined as roommates? Wow. 
Is, is, am I coming to learn this? Or am I bringing my theology, my ideas, my philosophy, the way I feel? I got born again. Why? Did I really get born again to get to know this, to live by this? I'm, 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 I'm saved. Why? Right. Right. Ooh. That's good. Why, why am I saved? Why am I saved? Yeah. You know, when I, when I get upset, I just take a shot. I take a drink. I... <laughs> Ooh. But what I didn't know is I was going to keep taking them. There's a storm coming. But you see, I, and, 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 and he shall be. So this man that habitually med meditates and, and ponders. Okay, okay, why do I think I know more than God? That I don't have to do this. You know, I'm different. You may have to ponder, you may have to meditate, but yeah. I'm doing my I'm doing my thing. But if I if I if I hear what he's saying, after I ponder and after I've meditated, he shall be like a tree. Firmly planted, tended by the streams of water. Good God. Woo! Listen, listen. Ready to bring forth its fruit in the season. Oh, we dancing around. It's my season. I'm walking into it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> but he's saying, what I've done, and it is, it is. It's a lot of people season in here. No, I said a lot of people. I didn't say everybody. Okay. Amen. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. I'm you right. Because this man is talking about, look, I didn't take the ideas <laughs> of the scorners. I didn't sit down with the gossipers. I didn't walk with them that, 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 that didn't like my church. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's what, that's what it's saying. Uh, that's what it's saying. Glory to God. I, I didn't relax in the beer gardens, in the bars, and in the clubs. I didn't relax there. Jesus. Hallelujah. But I did. I was. I was meditating. I was meditating. I was meditating. I was meditating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they told me you missed a good time last night, <laughs> you're going to see my good time. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Look at somebody and say, no, but you're going to see my good time. When my tree don't wither. When my fruit's not drying up. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I understood my season. I understood my season, amen, was to get in the word of God and to ponder it in my heart and meditate upon it day and night. And when I did that, now I have a season. Because it's understanding. 
the season. You may be in a season that God said, I want completely your obedience. That's right. That may be your season. Amen. A season, amen, that God is training you to hear and be obedient. Because if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Don't let these words be religious. That's right. That's right. Don't let them be religious. This ain't no good idea. Amen. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> you hear me? What I'm saying? This ain't no good idea. No. Amen. See, a whole lot of decisions are being made. Guess what? They're not seeking the church. They're not seeking. You know, the prayer that God told us to pray. See, the, 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 a whole lot of things are being decided upon. A whole lot of things are being legislated. And guess what? They're doing out with this. Yeah. They're doing away with this. Whew. Now, if the school stopped in the Bible, if the prayer stopped in the Bible, are we having a storm? Oh, yeah. Look at somebody and say, what happened to our kids? Because somebody, one lady, made a decision, had an idea in her head. Who huh. that turned into a legislating up in Washington. Where did that storm come from that we have it? Where did the storm come from? Somebody seen a cloud but didn't pay any attention. Somebody decided I'm going to push God out. Somebody decided I'm going to do it my way. And any time we start doing things, as Frank Sinatra, Sinatra said, let's do it my way. Mm-hmm. How's your way working? <laughs> How is your way working? Yeah, I was reading the other day about the, 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 the soil and the dirt and how really God made the dirt with all of the nutrients and all of the vitamins you know, that's in the dirt, all that God put in the dirt. And I was thinking, wow, that, he, wow, what an awesome thing. And then I was reading because man again had started fooling, messing around with the dirt, doing it his way, that, you know, you can plant you know, in, when they grow, maybe let, let's say um, spinach. Well, where, when the dirt was rich, because see, God told them in Leviticus, work the dirt for six years, and, and then the, on the seventh year, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Amen. All that's been done to the dirt, that when you, amen, when you're supposed to just, you know, use, to pick, pulling something out, when you're supposed to get out of spinach maybe, you know, uh, 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 70 um, milligrams of vitamin C, you're only getting seven. Mm. 
Uh huh. You know, a carrot. You know, you're, you're only getting where you're supposed to get. You may maybe a hundred and said I'm just kind of you're paraphrasing these things, but you, you know where you're supposed to get maybe a hundred milligrams, you're only getting 10 of calcium. Because somebody thought it was a good idea. Let's do it that way. So people don't even know why they're feeling bad. Why is it that we think we're smarter? So now I'm eating, you know, the type of fish, you know, that's grown in the farm. Why can't I eat the fish that God intended from out of the sea? Why do I think I'm smarter? Mm -hmm. <sighs> he shall be like a tree firmly planted tended by the streams of the water ready to bring forth its fruit in its season its leaf also shall not fade or wither and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity by doing it God's way. Who told you? Who told you? Where did you get? Where'd you get it from? Of what you believe. Look at somebody and ask them that question. Who told you? To, to, to many people, it's not a lie. It's truth. And many times they will strongly defend even their, their, you know, their, their misconceptions. When it comes to truth about you and God, most likely, much of what you believe has been contaminated. Amen. I'm telling you. Whew. Look at somebody again, because I'm getting ready to close it up. Amen. Ask them the question, what do you believe in who told you? Where did you get it from? I said, well, you know what? I've been to seminar. I've been to the seminars, and I've been to this and that. Well, your seminars can be contaminated, too. Mm-hmm. Amen. Contaminated with ignorance of the true concepts about God. Are oh, you hearing me? So living from out of the kingdom, I'm finding in my closing because I'm getting ready to close. I'm finding in my closing, I got to ask myself the real question. Am I taking his word and living from out of the higher place? The more when you read about how Jesus walked, whew, how he, they, they couldn't deal with him because he threw all their, their, their ideas and theories and philosophies out. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like it. Amen. They threw, he threw them out. And so, you know, they wanted to know, they kept trying to trap him yeah. over and over and over again yeah. with these questions that they themselves, and he told them, you're nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. Ooh, why did he say that? They wanted to kill him. Because they didn't understand. Amen. Where this man came from. We got a language that's different. And we're learning to talk it. 
Well, see, there's, there's so many things that my, myself that I've, that I've learned. I had to learn. I care about getting people jumping and shouting. Because, see, I know a whole lot of people jump and shout and go out with absolutely nothing. I mean, just nothing. But if you can leave out of here and say, you know one thing? I see what I need to do away with. I see, yeah. amen, that how my life and God's trying to unwrap me from the bondages. Yeah. Whew. Like he called Lazarus out and they say, wait a minute. Yeah, amen, I called him out. But he's still wrapped in stuff. Yeah. 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 Jesus. What am I saying? Some people got saved, but they never got converted. So he said, wait a minute, I need him to, go, to walk free. Yeah. That's what he was saying. I need him to walk free, unwrap him. What does God say? I'm going to unwrap you from all the lies that you've been told, all the things that you have been told. I don't want you jumping off a mess. Yes. Amen. I don't want you shouting because the music sounds good Amen. and you still are bound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I want you to know your true identity. That's what God is literally saying. I want you to know that when you're praying, that you're taking care of heaven's affairs and you're bringing heaven to earth because Amen. that's what we were born to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Don't believe the lies that you... See, some of us have been told about money and the lies, and man, we just live in fear because of it. We just live in fear. Oh, I got to... Oh, I got to do this and, that. and this is how this is how I got to be successful. This is the way it's got to be. And God said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, because we didn't take the advice of the world. And we done wrapped ourselves into the world's philosophies, even about money, about success, about all of it. Church folk will go to, to, to many times the world's meeting because the church ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. And then when, when then we do say something, then the people, then the, when the church starts teaching, people, yeah, them people just want your money. Everybody ain't talking about your money like that. That's right. God's got, God does have some real people. God's got some real people. Don't kid yourself. God's got some real people. And the stuff that you can't talk about money and you shouldn't talk about money in the church. Who told you that? That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Whew. Woo. Wow. That's the problem. I haven't talked about enough. I haven't talked about enough of marriage, I haven't talked about enough dating, I haven't talked about enough, you know, living, I haven't talked about enough, you know, all of these things of how, I, how we carry ourselves, I haven't talked about manners, I haven't talked about conduct, I haven't talked about behavior, enough! Right, right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then when they betray the church, a bunch of people, <laughs> On, in, in movies, I get, you know, some of, some of the, 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 the movies that, you know, this is called, it's supposed to be a church movie, a religious movie. Lord Jesus. Just, you know, have people looking stupid and acting crazy. Yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't care if anybody shout. Come on, this is uh, you know, now I know the spirit of the Lord will come in here and we'll shout and things like that. And I believe in shouting. But let me tell you something. If it's shouting just to be shouting and preach me happy, yeah, go ahead. Come on, come on, come on. You know, some, 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 some uh, pastors and uh, you know, being controlled by the, by the congregation. Yeah. Yeah, right. The organist is controlling it. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, they're controlling it. Yep. 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 
Leute, die 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 Leute, Because the things that God wants to say, amen, there, there are things he wants us to hear. There are things that God wants us to think. Yes. Glory to God. So that we'll discern something like that, you know. Okay, I see that. Mm-hmm, I see that with the devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I see, yeah. See, even in yourself. Hey, ain't nothing but my flesh trying to rise. Uh-huh. Even in yourself. Sometimes you have to say, okay, my flesh is trying to rise. My spirit is saying, shut it down. Your spirit, man, has to be strong enough because you have fed it. Oh, well, it makes sense. Why am I expecting my spirit, man, to be strong and I ain't feeding it nothing? You know, in that, in, I, I, I ain't feeding it. What, but see, here's the thing. If you haven't ate in two days, why are you expecting to be strong? Three days. What, why are you expecting to be strong? Tap somebody say, why? Why? <laughs> I mean, does that make sense? If I haven't ate in three days, why am I expecting to be strong? You know, come on, pick up that, you know, come on, pick up that, you know, pick that thing up right there. Uh-huh, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Always say, I'm going to show you that I, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Why? Ask somebody the question, why are you expecting to be strong? Stop playing with your head. And stop letting the devil play with it. to yourself and tell yourself you have not read the word of God do you know the gifts of the spirit prophecy and all of the gifts, these gifts of the spirit let me tell you something they work by love That's right. Amen. 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 yeah they do yeah they do 1 uh, uh, Corinthians 13 quick they work by love Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. Ooh. Start from one. Mm-hmm. If yeah. I can speak in the tongues of men. Wait a minute. If I can, if I can do what? Speak in the tongues of men. If I can speak in the tongues of men. And even of angels. Mm. And even of angels. But Listen. have not love. And have not love. That reasoning, intentional, spiritual devotion. Such mm. as in, is inspired by God's love for and in us. I am only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Without love, and let me, let, let me, I want the whole church to hear me. Because, you know, God's, you know, you know raising some of you up to, you know, speak prophetically and, 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 and you know, Minister in song and, you know, with a word and things in your mouth and, you know, singing and all of these things, these gifts. If love is not in it, you are just noisy. There are some gifts that the congregation will profit, but you won't. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. So a whole lot of people. Yeah, the congregation is says, wow, I received. But you won't. These gifts, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the fruits of the spirit as well. Oh, because when you hear some of this, you're going to be, you're going to, I, I tell you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bless you. But you have to realize, just because you're giving it out, 
don't mean that you are profiting. Mm -hmm. I prove it to you. That's one of them. I prove it to you. That's what I'm. I, 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 I could sound like an like an angel. Be the first again. Uh huh. If I can speak in the tongues of men and even of angels, but have not love. I am only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. In other words, it's saying, you profit nothing. God said, ah, yeah, Who wants to do that? the people. Oh my God. But you profit nothing. You are only noise to me. Hallelujah. See, you have to stop and think, because he said, many of them will say, I don't even know you. But notice with it, notice, notice, many, many. Because your, your, your gifts, amen, the foundation of those gifts should be wrapped in love. It is never about you. It's about God speaking to his people. Whenever you are trying to draw attention to yourself. It means nothing. Nothing. I tell you this so you learn, so you know. So that when you come, amen, and as, as God is speaking, raising you up, that you will know you never come to God with your agendas and telling God, bless this, I'm doing this, bless it. You never even begin to pray and seek it out. Is that why? That's why many of the works will be stubble, hay, and wood. It will burn up. As you stand before God, God said it burned up. It meant nothing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, God. That's why you always hear me say, God obligates himself to what he told you. That's right. That's right. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. See, always, the bottom line is love. Yeah. Yeah. God is not, see, see again, see, you, you, because see, the world's taught you certain things, and you don't realize, sometimes we don't realize until you start unwrapping. Mm -hmm. So you start hearing, and all of a sudden you say, what mm -hmm. in the world? And so if the church is not careful, the church will take on, will take on, what, what the world looks like, and that's why you can't tell so many apart. That's right. Right. It's important to develop love in your life. It's important to develop love in your life. Sometimes God will allow you to be so, uh, right, working with somebody that just rubs you. Just, ru just rub, just, just. Really, apostle? <laughs> Funny how a pearl is made. Mm -hmm. I mean, just rub, just rub, you just rub. Yes. Mm. yes. Oh, man. And you're doing everything you can to. Good morning. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. A meanie right in the church. And, and what do some people, I, 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 I thought it was love in the church, love in the church. Just love in the church. And, and I just find that, yeah, yeah you know, that, yeah, mm -mm, ain't no love in the church. Mm-hmm. How did you come? 
It's the truth. How did you come? Because when all of us walked in a church, we came with stuff. Isn't that interesting? All of us came with stuff. Look at somebody and say, I wasn't the only one. You came with stuff too. Amen. Amen. I, yeah. See, g- God watches how, how you, if you can be corrected. And you know, when you follow yourself and somebody corrects you, you know, who's she to correct me? Who, who's she to tell me? A child of God. Ain't that right? Walk with your head up, out the door like, hmm, nobody telling me. <laughs> Isn't that right? It's the truth. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. We find that we got to wrap, unwrap a lot of stuff. Love suffers long, and it's kind. It's not easily. And it thinks the best before it'll go to the worst. When I was a child, I act as a child. And there's something that the Lord said, come to me like a child. Why did he say it? Come to me like a child because children come to you knowing nothing. They come that way. And God is saying, you adults, Come like a child. Empty your stuff of what you think you know. And come to me. That's what he's saying. Come to me like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Come to me that way. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise. Let's give God a praise. Glory, come on, stand to your feet. Thank you so much for joining us. And on behalf of Apostle Joy C. Scott and Pastor Joy D. Scott, we'd like to invite you back here again for Sunday morning service at 11 a.m. for Break It Down Wednesdays at 8 p.m. right here on nlmionline.org. Join Pastor Joy D. Jones for the next Dimension of Glory at New Life Ministries International, 10 West 7th Street, Chester, Pennsylvania, every Sunday at 11 a.m. For more information, go to our website at www.nlmionline.org. Say, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know somebody that's planning my future, that's planning my tomorrow, that's planning my next week, that's planning my next year. I know, hallelujah, glory to God, that the plans that I have for you, they are for good and they are not for evil. You have a future. Oh, we need to keep that. I'm telling you out there, you got a future. <laughs> oh, good God. You need to look at somebody and tell somebody that you know, wait a minute, I got a future. Join Dr. Joyce C. Scott every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Comcast channels 190 and 1097. 
Tune in to receive wisdom, direction, and revelation on how to live every day victoriously as God originally intended. Dr. Joyce e. Scott, every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Comcast channels 190 and 1097. Tune in and tell a friend. I'm upset and I'm feeling some type of way and I'm hurt and I'm crying and I don't like what the doctor says, but wait a minute, who do I belong to? Because all things work together for my good. There is a win in this for me. I don't care what it looks like you lost. I've got to be able to see the win. When the natural realm wants to show me the loss, I got to see the win. You got the win. You got the win. I've got, oh God, let's, I've got to be able to see the victory. When I can't see the victory, you've got to keep seeing the victory. You got to keep looking at the victory. No matter what you see in the natural realm, you've got to keep seeing the victory. And what is the victory? It's everything that God said. That's what I've got to look at. That's what i got to see when I'm looking at adversity right before me. I see the victory. I see the victory. I see the victory. I see the healing. I see the deliverance. I see the freedom. I see the manifestation of everything that God said. i got a history with God. i got a history. And I've seen him bring me through again. And again, and again, and again. So why is it hard for me to see the victory when I've seen him win in me over and over again? See, you've got to see the win in your situation so that I see and that I get to the place that no matter what I walk through, I always see my win in it. I don't know how it's going to come. I don't know when it's going to come. But I got to know there's a win in this for me. See, this is where you have to remember that everything that you are walking through, everything that you may be facing, it's not for nothing. You got to remember, God doesn't waste anything anything nothing in your life is going to go wasted nothing in your life nothing that you face nothing that you walk through even these dark places that you may be uh, 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 maneuvering your way through it is not going to be wasted See, this is where you have to remember that no matter what I go through, no matter how uncomfortable it is, no matter how many tears I cry, I know at the end of this is a win. See, and that's what the enemy wants to try to make you forget. Because he wants to get you so focused on what is present. He wants to get you so focused on what is just right in front of you, what you see, what you hear, what you feel, that you don't remember, you win.
natural, powerful human emotion. It alerts us to the presence of danger or the threat of harm. Fear alerts us to the presence of danger, but it will never alert you to the presence of God in the spiritual, because all truth parallels. Because fear weakens the immune system. So you got to see what fear is doing to your spiritual immunity and how it's meant to tear down your spiritual immunity, how it's meant to tear down the resistance and the word that was erected and built in you, fear comes to tear those things down so that you don't believe. The enemy brings fear because it's things that he absolutely does not want you to get pregnant with, with the word. He brings fear because he doesn't want the things of God to come and start living and growing on the inside of you because he knows once that's there, at some point you're going to get birth. So he would rather make you spiritually infertile and, and, and bring you to a point where you can't even carry what the Lord is giving you to where you can't even hold what the Lord is giving you. And as you heard apostles say many times, you can end up miscarrying spiritually. He wants to bring that fear so that you never believe, so that you never give birth to what God said. See, you've got to see that this is where, again, we can't be ignorant because we've got to see all that the enemy is trying to do so that I don't bring forth what God has called me to bring forth, so that I don't bring forth things that he's spoken to me years and years ago, the books, the songs, the, the business, uh, whatever the case may be, but that I get so locked into fear, fear that I can't, fear that I fail, fear that, fear that I, 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 I won't do it. Fear of what will happen if I step out, that I'll never give birth. Fear makes you react out of emotions. See, again, this is where you got to look at when certain things are coming at you, when certain things are presented and certain things have hit your life, you got to be able to determine, am I reacting or am I responding? See, fear causes me to react. But see, knowing God and knowing the truth, growing and maturing causes me to respond. Because too many times as believers, we're reacting. And we're reacting, getting no result because I'm reacting out of, out of emotion. I'm reacting out of being upset. I'm reacting at what's happening naturally instead of responding out of my spirit. Join Dr. Joyce C. Scott every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Comcast channels 190 and 1097. Tune in to receive wisdom, direction, and revelation on how to live every day victoriously as God originally intended. Dr. Joyce C. Scott every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Comcast channels 190 and 1097. Tune in and tell a friend.
because it's been planted. And I've secured the roots. See, this is where you gotta look at your own life and say, wait a minute, because I'm too, I'm, I'm too up and down too much. I'm too back and forth too much. I'm too in and out too much. I'm believing and I'm not. Let me check my roots. How do my roots look? Have I gotten at a place where I've let myself become uprooted and never really got myself rerooted? And I'm finding that the storms now affect me different. The rain affects me different. Because I let things come and uproot me, but I never got rerooted properly. Because if, if we're not careful, every little thing will come to blow us away. Every little thing will come to knock us down. Every little thing will come to cause us not to believe. Every little thing will come to cause us not to trust. Every little thing will cause us to question God. Every little thing will come to knock us right out of faith. And because of your roots, when they go deep, no matter what comes, no matter what hits, you have the ability to produce again. Join Pastor Joy D. Jones for the next Dimension of Glory at New Life Ministries International, 10 West 7th Street, Chester, Pennsylvania, every Sunday at 11 a.m. For more information, go to our website at www.nlmionline.org.